touch bases. We have management meetings once a month and we have you know, weekly calls to be able to kind of corral the team. You know, I use this opportunity also to share all of our wins, share, you know, the reviews and how people rave about staying in our properties, you know, so. Yeah, uh, I love that. No, really you're building a team and a culture. Mm. Yes, yes. I was talking, we were talking about that last night, right? Where it's like, <clears throat> it kind of grows in phases, right? Like as you continue to grow and scale your business, like first you're just trying to get your head wrapped around, how do I, how do I do all of these things? How do I tie in all this technology? How do I automate it? you know, all the facets of the operation. And then as you start to scale up, call it five, six, 10 units, whatever it is. And it's like, okay, who else can I get on my team now that I'm generating revenue to start supporting all that, to elevate myself out of the business. So like, if, if you look back at kind of like your timeline, at what point did you realize, okay, I'm going to start bringing on other team members. You know, I think most people initially they'll find the cleaner and then they'll leverage some technology. But for you, what did that kind of journey look like for you to evolve into having like a a good sized team that's running this thing for you? Uh, I mean, I think (laughs) when we got to about four four or five units, we were already using Guesty's communication services. And so that helped bridge the gap initially to give 24 seven support. But I remember in the early days, (laughs) 